What is up everybody? I'm No Lex Given here with your afternoon snap and a brand new season just started in Marvel Snap. As you can see, this is from yesterday, still on the Days of Future Past season, season pass. Days of Future Past season pass. And I'm gonna crack open the season pass season caches i think they're called from the season pass season track right here so i've got 18 of these to crack open let's see what we get we're going to start off with some goose boosters and some moon girl boosters the boosters definitely not super exciting the credits i will take though you might have also noticed i am sitting on well not a bunch of credits but a bunch of unopened reserves. I haven't really been opening these. The last downgrade of cards, the only new one for me was Orca. And I want to make sure that when cards downgrade, I'm able to take advantage of that. There's not really anything that I'm like hurting for that is currently series four. There's a few things that are series five that are somewhat interesting, but if there's nothing like the, the Series 4 things, yeah, sure, Darkhawk could be nice. I don't have that yet. Uh, but the other ones were like Dazzler, Shadow King. I don't need those. I can wait for those to drop down into Series 3 before I go and claim them. So uh, I'm just going to hang on to a bunch of tokens for right now. There is the Cosmic or Cosmetic Rush. I don't know what it's called. Um, the, there's a bunch of different variants that are currently available. And some of them are cool, but I do actually have a good Cerebro variant. That's the one that most people are excited about. So I don't need the new Cerebro variant. And I feel like the whole rush for the variants is kind of just a ploy to get you to crack open some caches before some things downgrade. So. I'm not gonna stress out about it. We are halfway through my, what are these called? Does, does anything here say? No, that might be because I'm playing on the PC client that not everything is appropriately labeled, but uh, halfway through my caches here and have not gotten anything just yet. So hopefully one in these last seven can get us a sweet variant, but this might be a bummer of a season. Only three more. You know what? Last season, I think, well, I played a lot more. What, what was interesting is it was easier to get Infinite this season. So I didn't have to play that much to get it. And then I got it pretty quickly too. So the second, like, I got it in the first or second week of the season so the whole second half i didn't play as much i still played because i find the game fun but i was not required to play a whole bunch which is a fine thing uh it just meant that now i'm not getting as many rewards at the end of season so we are not going to have that much to show for it two more crates to crack open here one more crate to crack open all right well i gotta i gotta end this video finding something Let's crack open four collector's reserves or however many it takes us to find one cosmetic item here. Uh, we'll do five. We'll do five because that's terrible. Uh, so we are going to find some gold. We're going to find some tokens. No, Professor X's best friend. Hmm. Well, I have been playing a lot of Professor X recently. Um, you know what? Let's equip this and I will also show off one Professor X game in this video. I am currently using the Herald of Galactus title. So let me know. Do you think I should be Professor X's best friend or the Herald of Galactus? I like this one because this is a title that you unlocked from hitting infinite, but I just really like Professor X as well. Uh, he was a big part of my video yesterday, and like I said, well, let's roll the clip. 
I said roll the clip as if I don't now have to record this game, uh, but I thought this was a fun one that also really showcases Professor X quite well. We're gonna kick things off with Daredevil into Gamma Lab. We're giving up our Daredevil, but a free Hulk, I'm gonna take it. So we lead with Daredevil and my opponent plays a Wolverine. So potentially also a Galactus list. I played a lot of Wolverine in Galactus last season, uh, two seasons ago at the time that you are now watching this. And when we see Electro on turn three, that basically cements it. So pretty good curve for my opponent here as well to also be able to play a uh, some ramp here and to grab two hulks for themselves and now we have waved so we might be giving my opponent the opportunity to play galactus this turn so i'm thinking that could potentially wind up showing up in the baxter building and i correctly predict it there with a null that is then going to be able to soak up the power from all four of these hulks so pretty good stuff however where this gets tricky is we could get shang chi the fact that my opponent is still hanging in here means that they probably do have shang chi and we are going to protect our Knoll with Professor X there. I told you Professor would come in big in this one and he definitely does. So Professor X is yeah probably one of my best friends. You're allowed to have more than one best friend. And this was definitely a unique experience. I don't normally use Professor X as armor, but it is a very versatile card that can just do so many different things. That's gonna be it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'm no Lux Given. Peace.